Kayla, are you okay? You've been standing in front of this blank canvas for a while, and you don't look so good. Apologies for making a wild assumption, but has the story of the five Kassen reminded you of anything? Yes. A few things did come to mind, actually. However, they were nothing more than some past incidents regarding my family. I don't mind sharing the stories, but I'd prefer not to bring you any more trouble. Hey, we're all friends here, Kazuha. You can always tell us whatever's on your mind. Kaidehara, please forgive my assumption, but perhaps you were thinking of the Raiden Gokuden? The Raiden Gokuden? What's that? It appears that Miss Kamisato and I were thinking of the same thing. But it also has much to do with the Yashiro Commission. It would be improper to speak of it here without the consent of Miss Kamisato. It's fine. Those of us here are all trustworthy, so there isn't any harm in it. However, this matter is somewhat complicated and may be difficult to explain. Let me start with a ride in Gokuden. <sighs> As you all know, the Yashiro Commission's primary purpose is managing ceremonial and cultural affairs, and Inazuma's art of forging swords is a very important part of our culture. The Raiden Gokuden were once the top five schools of the forging art in Inazuma. Although these families were swordsmiths by craft, they also held many important positions in the Yashiro Commission. Unfortunately, of the five, only the Aminoma art still maintains its artisan lineage. The descendants of the Ishin art are also still alive, but the craft has been lost to time. The descendants of the Ishin art are none other than the Kaidehara family. Whoa! We knew Kazuha came from a noble family, but we had no idea about his connection to the Yashiro Commission and sword making. Yes, but that's all part of the past now. The Ishin art was lost with my great-grandfather's generation. My grandfather was dissatisfied with my great-grandfather's lack of effort. When he was young, my grandfather traveled all over Tevat to find a way to revive the family business. But it was to no avail. And in my generation, our last remaining family property was lost as well. I heard my elder brother mention that the decline of the Raiden Gokuden happened very rapidly. They suffered various misfortunes and disappeared completely. Later, there was speculation that all of these misfortunes stemmed from some background machinations, meaning that someone wanted to wipe out the Raiden Gokuden. However, since not every family of the Raiden Gokuden came to ruin, such explanations were treated as nothing more than a conspiracy theory. Indeed. I've also believed such ideas were just theories and rumors. However, I know that a major incident happened to my great-grandfather when he was young. Not only did it affect the Kaedahara clan, but it nearly jeopardized the Kamisato clan's position in the Yashiro Commission as well. After reading the story of the Five Kasen, I can't help but feel like it's pointing me toward the truth behind that incident. What exactly happened to your great-grandfather, Kazuha? I still can't say. I need to speak with someone to verify the details. Let's meet here again at noon tomorrow. I will tell you everything I know then. <laughs>